Thursday saying no show Friday because Saturday I'm flying back to Sandy I mean to New York I'm in San Diego right now well uh, I just don't want to go like I just don't want to leave crime in New York is up Franklin is here so I was just like oh, I'm just gonna stay um, even though I I have to be back in New York because I'm up for two things and in New York, you have to quarantine for two weeks. So I moved it to Saturday. But now I'm moving it back to Thursday. You know what? Just every day tune in and you'll find out what state I'm in. I don't know where I'm going to be any day. I may go home Thursday. I may go home Saturday. I may never go home. I don't know. Just, just tune in every day to find out what state Robin's in. That'd be a fun um, when Corona's done to like every week be in a different state and you don't know. All right, we're gonna have to wait till the monetization really picks up for that. All right, guys, wait, hold on. First, we have to preheat this. We have so much going on. We are like, today's cooking is, um, I'm like really excited because I think I could do all of this. Well, one of the things I'm kind of like putting a twist to, first off, happy coffee talk, everyone. Welcome, if this is your first time here, Hi, I'm Robin, and I am a chef. I'm not really a chef, I'm really a stand-up comedian, but comedy is not around, so I had to find another profession, and everyone's like, oh, Robin, you would look great in a, um, what is this called, whatever this is called, an apron. Um, you know, so I was like, all right, great, I'll learn how to cook. So today, okay, so first off, have you ever made like, all right, you know pizza? Do you guys know what pizza is? Now make it like a pizza ball, right? So I didn't invent that, that's a thing. But Frank only has one pan like this and we need it for the cookies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make pizza cupcakes. And honestly, like this should work. You know what, we'll see. That's the thing about cooking is, you know, it's we'll see type of thing. Um, Frank's at work, so I only ask one thing of you guys. At the end of the episode, can someone just say, hey, Robin, did you turn off the other? Oh, wait, did I take? Frank took the stuff out. Um, okay, so just make sure I turn off the oven. That's all I'm going to ask of you guys. That and maybe, like, stay. <laughs> that and just watch. Um, okay, let's get cooking. So, besides making the pizza, we're going to be making cookies and these are like ridiculous okay so have you ever had Samoa um Girl Scout cookies that's with like the coconut okay so those are like so delicious so fattening so we are going to do a healthy er version of it but what's so crazy about this guys it's only two things it's it's banana and coconut that's it no flour no nothing no whatever i mean there is sugar in like coke i mean like there's sugar what are you what are you gonna do you know but that's it it's just those two ingredients and you're like robin i don't think this is gonna work well i made them last night frank and i ate it all i made six i had three and a half and he had two and a half i had the half because like i still wanted more and as the chef you know i get to say so I already made them. Delish. And then I was telling my mom this morning, and then she was like, why don't you make them into ice pops? I was like, great idea. So we're going to do, first we're going to start with the dessert because they spend more time in the oven. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to make the pizza cupcakes. So come join me in the kitchen. Hey, welcome 
coming to my kitchen. Um, uh, oh, it was Richie on Periscope. Hi, Periscope people. Okay, so first things first, get yourself a bowl. Um, I like eating desserts before the main course. Me too, actually. People think I'm crazy, but when I go to a rest, like a diner or a restaurant, I want to eat dessert first because otherwise you get filled up on your meal and you can't truly enjoy your dessert. So I always say eat your dessert first so this way you don't get too full to really enjoy it. <gasps> Wait, I wonder if Frank, Frank bought a chocolate cup. Oh, he took it to work. He bought a chocolate piece of cake yesterday. I was wondering, and I was like, no, don't keep that in the house, because otherwise I'll eat it. And he took it to work, and now I'm really upset, because I kind of want to eat that while we're cooking. Okay, so anyway, take a banana. So we're going to make the recipe for six cookies and six ice pops. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so Frank was like, can you put cinnamon in it, but... All right, we'll put cinnamon in it. Cinnamon in it. Okay, so first, um, first we're gonna make. Hold on, I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud. Do, do, do. Okay, you know what? Okay. okay, we're gonna make. We're doubling, we're doubling the um, the recipe. So put two bananas in. Put two bananas in. Okay, like that. And then we're going to put two cups of coconut. All right. Okay, so I used to drink coconut um, Malibu. What is it? Malibu rum. And it's a coconut. And I loved it so much. And then one time I had a little too much. And I got a little too sick. And then for years I couldn't smell coconut. Which was a shame because I love the smell of coconut. But guess what? Something happened. I can smell coconut again. So I guess it's time to get coconut rum back in our uh, diet. Oops, got it all over the place. All right. Okay, so now get two. Oh, oh shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, whatever. Um, okay. All right, maybe we should send a bigger bowl since we are doubling our thing. Okay, so now what you got to do is you got to smush it until it's like smushed consistency. Hold on. Hold on. And you get a fork. Okay. Here we go. All right. So now, ugh, you know what? I shouldn't have done the double because now this is going to be too hard to smush. All right. So, oh, I was supposed to smush the banana first. Wait. You know what? I got distracted. First, smush the banana and then add the uh, coconut. We may need a bigger bowl, but ugh, it's so high up. How are we supposed to get a bowl that that tie up? Okay. Um, okay. All right. So just smush it up like this. Honestly, I really messed up because you really should smush the banana and then add the coconut. And we've also doubled the recipe but didn't get a bigger bowl down. So just, you know, roll with it. Okay. That's ready, but our dish is not. Okay, let's keep preheat. Oh God, I really need a bigger bowl. Okay, okay. So anyway, what's new? <laughs> All right, just don't look at what I'm doing because this isn't like exactly what you're supposed to be doing. It was better last night. So, but you get the premise, right? Um, use your hands. Why will that mush it faster? Because you're really supposed to. Um, Would mushing it with my hands make it faster? Hold on. Wait, I wonder. Hold on. I'm going to use this, even though that was supposed to, to flip it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just give me a second. I, oh, my God. I'm getting coconut everywhere. It's a fish. Oh, God. Uh, you should have mashed the bananas first. Yes, yes. So that's where I went wrong. I um Like last night, I mushed the bananas first, and then I added the coconut. So, okay. All right, this is definitely like a workout. All right, if you're just tuning in, I'm showing you how to make a healthier version of Samora Girl Cat Scout cookies. Okay, all right. 
Now, oh, and if you're sitting there being like, hey, Robin, what's happening with the uh, auction of auctioning off your brother? We're still going to do that, but we're probably going to do it next week. Um, we'll probably be next Thursday night, and we're going to auction off multiple Richies. So you can have them to um, help you with tech stuff, as a therapist, someone to give you bedtime stories. So this way, you know, a few people can buy him. Um, just so, you know. Okay. All right. So this is pretty, um, God, this is not done, but like I'm definitely getting tired mushing. All right. Hold on. I think we, like two, like one more minute of mush. Um, what about buying slaps? Oh, we could auction that off too. We could auction off. And we're going to have a whole night where only Richie is being auctioned. Okay. Did you guys ever watch? Okay. There's this episode of Saved by the Bell. And um, they do like this auction where like, it's like a dating auction, which by the way, I don't know how appropriate that is in like high school, um, but like they were like, Zach was being auctioned off and Slater. If you never watched Stay by the Bell, this may not, you may, you don't know the characters, but it doesn't matter. So anyway, Zach, who's the main character, gets auctioned off and guess who wins him? A fat girl. Who gives a shit, right? Well, Zach does. And he's like all upset that a fat girl um, won him. And so then he made up a lie not to go out like to the dance with her just because she was fat. And like then um, he gets caught. And I'm just like, you know what? Like, you know what? Like, and I know this is supposed to be like a learning lesson. Like he learned he shouldn't judge people for being fat. But let's just not even put it out there. Because let me tell you something. When this was on the air, I was pretty fat. You know? Um, and I was just like. Well, that's it. Now I'm not going to buy someone because they may not be happy because I'm fat. All right. Sorry. I went on a little tangent there. Half of you don't even know what I'm talking about. All right. Go get yourself a tray. Hold on. Okay. Let me. Uh-oh. I think I just broke the tripod. Uh oh There we go. Okay. Is there a buy it now feature? Wait. What's that? All right. So now we have your little um, mush, okay? This is actually pretty good consistency, if you could see. It's all mushed up, okay? Then take a handful, like that. I'm making six cookies, okay? I understand the girls gotta eat. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. So things that, um, Jalen, I'll explain the buy it now when I do the news. I have no clue what any of you guys are talking about. Okay. As you can see, I'm literally just making um, six blobs. One banana and one um, cup of, um, what is this called? Coconut equals six cookies, just so you know, okay? All right, so once you do this, right, okay, you see what I'm doing? Now, take the end of your fork, right, and make a little hole in it. So it's like the s'more cookies. You know what I'm talking about, how they, they have like a little hole in the middle, like that, right? Like that, like that, like that. Oh, this is a biggie. This is a big cookie. This will be a big cookie. Okay, so that's it. Now we're going to put it in the oven. Now, they say to do like 20 to 25 minutes. So at the 20 minute mark, we'll look. You want, you want it to be like a kind of brown. So let's put this in. Oh! Ooh, okay. Damn it. Hold on. I'm going to show you what just happened. No. I burnt myself yesterday. I'll tell you what happened. I thought, hey, so you know how the pan is no stick pan? In my head, I thought it was no heat pan. Like I thought the pan didn't get hot. So I went to take the cookies off as soon as it came out. Because don't ask me why. I know it's no stick. I, in my head, it was no hot. So I touched it and I burnt my finger. Then Frank was like, why the hell would you touch it? I was like, it's no heat. He's like, you mean no stick? I was like, God damn it. Okay, so I did... Just drop all that coconut on the floor. Um, so that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. 
that's not what we want to do. All right, so now this next part is Mama Shoal's idea. Hold on, let me see. Does he have any more? Hold on. Hold your horses. Okay. Okay, hold your horses. Hold your horses. I know he has chopsticks, I just don't know where he has chopsticks. Oh, here, we'll use this, a skillet. Is that what this is called, a skillet, right? Maybe not. Okay, so now you're gonna take your other, the other half that we made, and you're gonna get an ice cube tray. It was my mom's idea to freeze this. I was like, it's a really good idea. And so, put it in the ice cube tray, just like so. Cause she's like, you can make little popsicles. And I was like, oh my God, you're a genius, Deb. And now this was this morning she came up with this. This was not on the original plan. I don't even think Richie put this in the description box. As Richie right now is quickly scrambling to put it in the description box. Richie, we are doing the news today, but I just don't know when. It's gonna be when like things are cooking because uh, we just gotta keep it moving till then. Okay, so then once you make your little popsicles like that, then take your skillet. I don't even know if this is called a skillet. This may not be a skillet. All right, break them like that. Stick it in, stick it in. Don't put the part, hold on. You don't want like the, the part that you break where there's, no, they are skewers, skewers. What's a skillet? Okay, put it in. Okay. You don't want the uh, wooden part that's all woody to be in the part that's gonna go in your mouth. I feel like I'm saying a lot of things that could be taken dirty, like don't put the wood in your mouth, but this is not supposed to be dirty. This is supposed to be a cooking. Okay, so then, great. So we have little popsicles. Now, let's go put it in the freezer. Okay. Hold on. Okay. All right, now we're gonna, that's gonna freeze for a couple of hours. Um, and let's, oh, we never put the timer on. Does anyone know how long that's been in for? Damn it. Does anyone know how long the cookies have been in for? timer on 30 minutes fine how are you I missed about six minutes about four minutes okay let's say he's been in for about five minutes Alexa can you set the alarm for 15 minutes in 15 minutes we'll check it out okay all right so now let's say that again I didn't say anything so now while we're letting the cookies cook sorry I don't know that Wait, is cookies, So the word cookies come from the word cook? Cookies? Sorry, I'm having trouble. Alexa, I, Alexa, I'm not talking to you. Did the word? Sorry, I thought I heard my name. Okay. All right, so now we're going to make fun pizza cupcakes. I think I made this up. Oh my God, I'm literally just stepping in coconut. All right. All right, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna do this? Hold on, let me just think this out. All right, then we're just gonna use this as our um, like board, because we don't have a board. Okay, so now, oh, okay, I bought the wrong thing. Just deal with me, okay? So, okay. So I meant to buy Pillsbury dough, but I bought biscuits, but I think this should work, okay. Here. When I was a kid, we used to buy this, but the dough, and me and my mom used to make pigs in the blanket. Oh, pigs in the blanket. My Uncle Jay knows, but that's like my favorite. Hold on. Oh, wait. Why didn't this open? Wasn't this supposed to open when I did that? Wait. Red cookie ordinary from the Dutch around 16. But does it have anything to do? Wait, why didn't this open? Wasn't this supposed to open when I when I took that off? 
That was totally supposed to, supposed to open. Hit it on the counter. <laughs> okay, we got it. Um, so now, oh, okay, perfect. So you're gonna take your little doughies and smush it down. Wait, I feel like, is this okay to do it on the countertop? Yeah, sure. Okay. There's your Jeff Jamie. Yeah, Jamie, do you know Richie goes and checks every day to see what the gifs are? It never opens it until you whack it. Oh, see, look at this. What kind? We're all learning stuff today. You are thinking of kooky. Okay. How many of these do you want to make? Should we make like four? Where is Kim? I don't know where Kim is. Vaughn, we haven't seen you in a while. Uh, okay. It's a little less mediocre now. All right, so as you can see, what we're doing is making the base for the pizza cupcake. All right, I guess we're making five because that's how many are in here. All right, so once you do this, all right, really flat, oh, flatten it out. Wait, I made a hole, okay. Now, take yourself some pizza sauce. Where's Mr. and Mrs. C? They are on vacation, they went up, State, I think. Well, we're in the state they live. They, they're on vacay. They gave me a heads up. Guys, if you're going away, please give me a heads up. I like to know where everyone is. Ask Vaughn. I, when I didn't see Vaughn in the chat for a month, I sent, uh, I sent him a message being like, hey, are you kidnapped? What's going on? Um, okay. Do you think Ellen does that? You think Ellen reaches out to her viewers when they stop watching? Wait, so my mom called me this morning and she said that she was watching Kelly Clarkson show last week and my dad was in the room and my dad was like, why is she in her pajamas not wearing makeup? At, remember, my dad's been working. He doesn't know what's going on in the talk show circuit, how they've all just given up. Or not given up, but they're all trying to be like us, you know? And my mom's like, oh, that's all the talk show hosts. They're trying to be like us, they're not wearing makeup, they're in their pajamas. And my dad's like, okay, during the peak of the pandemic, I still wore a suit when I went into the office. And, she, and my mom's like, well, Robin does her makeup every day. And my dad was horrified that Kelly Clarkson, who we both, my dad really likes Kelly Clarkson. It's more fun this way, Jalen. I don't know what, what you guys are talking about. All right, so now we have the sauce. Okay, now go grab yourself some pepperoni, okay? And just take the pepperoni Maybe do, I don't know, let's do three little pieces per pizza cupcake. Okay. Okay, I didn't even, um, yeah, Kelly Clarkson's getting divorced. It's very interesting. You may think like, oh, Kelly Clarkson's so successful, but her husband actually is a, um, I think a music manager slash producer. So He's actually a bigger money maker than her. So I'd be very curious to see what that um, divorce looks like. I wonder if they had a prenup. I bet you they had a prenup. Okay. No way are we letting Frank sign a prenup. I mean, like, wait, hold on. Maybe I'll be rich one day. We're definitely making Frank sign a prenup. Um, <laughs> right now, I don't want a prenup. <laughs> okay, hold on. My hands are, are slippery, so I can't rip this open we have to um when this is done when this is like ready to go in the oven we can't put it in the oven with the cookies because um the cookies are at 350 and this is speed to 400 you definitely want his money yeah but like what happens if we get married right no prenup and then next year my career takes off and i become this huge, a huge successful person. And so because I'm huge and successful, clearly um, the marriage doesn't work because I'm sleeping with the nanny. And um, then what are we gonna do? You think he'll come after my money? <laughs> what do we think? Is he gonna, oh, right now I'm taking mozzarella and uh, do you call it mozzarella or mozzarella? Um, and you're gonna put it on your little cupcakes. Okay. Okay. So now you're probably thinking, Robin, how is this a cupcake? I don't know yet. Just hold on. Okay. So grab your little cupcake um, thingies 
and just put them in wherever you want, not a big deal. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now take your little pizza cupcakes. Oh, this has whatchamacallit on it. Hold on, we gotta get the uh, coconut too bad you didn't put in the paper first. Wait, what? Wait, I supposed to do what first? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, so now get your little pizzas. Okay. All right, so now take the edges of the pizza and bring it in. Hold on. Like that. So you're like doing it. Wait, I'm supposed to close. I think I didn't like make the dough big enough. Okay. All right, you want to kind of like get it so that it closes like that. So you see how I'm making like a little, a little ball, right? Like that, okay? And now put it in a cupcake. Hold on. Okay, let's try it a little more stretched out. I think I have too much crap in the cupcake. Okay. All right. Ball. <laughs> Put it in a ball. <laughs> Frank says my my last name wrong, and he says I'm saying it wrong because he says like shawl, like it's shawl. He's like, no, it's not. That's why she didn't put it in the pan first so she could make a ball. Oh yes. Oh, is that what you guys were saying before? The balls aren't sticking though. Like that ball's already opened up. Okay, hold on. I think we have to stretch out the dough. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta stretch out this dough. That's where we're going bad. Okay. There we, okay. Wait, we're gonna have to redo those balls. Okay, there we, okay, guys. That's what you want, that's what you want. Okay, take this one out because this is not correct. Hold on, hold on. You gotta really stretch like that. Like that. All right, this one's going to be ugly. We already know that, okay? This one's going to be a fail, whatever. All right, just know that one I didn't do. That that one Richie did. Okay, so if you could see, you really have to stretch out the dough before you fold it in like that. Stretch it out, fold it in. Stretch it out, fold it in. Stretch it out, fold it in. Okay, look at that. All right, so literally it's just that ball that's so ugly. We'll just say Richie made it. Okay, stretch it out, throw it in. Stretch it out, put it in. Stretch it out, put it in. Stretch, oh, ignore that. Stretch it out, put it in. All right, this one's kind of ugly too. Um, thank you, Richie. I, I have nothing planned for Tim Slow. Richie, save your money to buy you. <laughs> Sounds like an old guy does with his ball. Stretch it out, put it in. Yes. Stretch it out, put it in. Stretch it out, put it in. Okay. So now, Alexa, how much time on the timer? You have four minutes and 40 seconds left on the 15 minute timer. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Richie, didn't we have something planned? But now I already forgot it. Um, okay, so now, oh, oh my God, the eggs fell on the floor. Oh no, the eggs fell, damn it. Okay, we'll deal with, we'll deal with that later. Oh, Jesus, okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do Let's get in the news because we have about five minutes where we have to take the cookies out. So let's get in the news. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. All right, guys, please welcome our mediocre. <laughs> These kitchen shows are tough. All right, guys, please welcome our mediocre intern, Richard Shaw. Wait, wait hold on, I didn't, um, I didn't lower the brightness. Okay, you ready? 
Oops. Wait, Rich, I can't find you. Okay. Right here. Hold on. All right, please welcome our mediocre intern, Richard Shaw. <laughs> Why is this all? Okay, all right, here we go. Why are you sideways? <laughs> okay, hold on. Richard Shaw! Richie, why are you sideways? I don't know. Someone gave a, uh, no, I'm going to do that tomorrow because we're going to be in the other room. Uh, second, every time you said the B word, I uh, gave a dollar. Wait, what B word? Ball. Oh, balls? <laughs> give a dollar. Also, as someone mentioned earlier, the word cookie is a Dutch word, koekje, which uh, cook means cake in Dutch. And, so and cook, no, cookie doesn't come from cook? No, it's, it's, uh, well, cook. I feel like, I feel like so much of the language comes from the Dutch. Yes. And as you know, even as... Because you know on the spelling bees, they go, they go... It was originally Dutch. They go in the spelling bees, they go, can I get the ori origin? And they go, this word is from the Dutch. Dutch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway. All right, we got some, we got some crazy news stories today. All right, let's hear all right, so in Washington, there was a library, the Walla Walla Public Library, where they started doing renovations, and they knocked Wait, sorry, 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 sorry again, because I was just thinking something. I do want to hear this story. Um, ABC News or NBC News took one of your news stories. I saw yesterday. I'm trying to think what it was. Of course they did. Of course they Damn. did. Damn. Well, what was your news stories at the last day on Thursday? Do you remember? Uh, hold on. Let me, let me pull them up. Uh, last week was um, the block the blockbuster. A blockbuster, the blockbuster, like a big news outlet reported on it, like yesterday yeah, after know. you did. You get the news here first, okay? So okay. Um, in Walla Walla, uh, Walla Walla, Washington, uh, a uh, library was renovated. They knocked out the mix the mystery section behind the wall. There was a six pack of beer, one was missing, and a pack of gum. And they realized it must have been from the early 80s because the warning label wasn't on the uh, beer bottles. This is before the warning labels had to be on the beer bottles. So they figured what must have happened was a worker took one of the beer bottles because one was missing, went out for a drink, and they put up the wall while he was outside. <laughs> and that's why the beer was still oh, that's behind funny. the wall. And his gum. So they are taking the artifacts to another city um, to be on display. So speaking of like time capsules and stuff. Yeah. Alexa off when Richie was like 10 or something, him and his best friend put a time capsule in the kid's backyard. Yes, and, to open it in 2015. And what year did you put it in? Uh, must have been 1994. That's crazy. Wait, so what if, did you... Did you so do? in 2015, his mother still lived in the house. Yeah. So I contacted her saying, hey. Oh, the cookies, know. the cookies. The co I totally oh. forgot. I forgot that's what Pondus said the Alexa's for, to write you about the cookies. I literally forgot. Okay, go, go, go. I'll just sit here. Okay, I want to keep it in for like another minute. So at the end of the story, I'll take it out. Okay, but no, that's the end of the story. Uh, so... Oh, with, uh, I called my friend and uh, I, I called the mother and the mother gave me his phone number. Oh, yeah, you haven't spoken to him in years, right? What? You hadn't spoken to no, him in years. years. And so yeah, I messaged him on Facebook, I called him, no answer. And of course, my co-teacher said, just go to the house and dig it up. <laughs> <laughs> so did you uh, dig it up by yourself? No, it's still buried. Oh, you never opened it? No, I know it's in there. Does his family still live there? Yes. Richie, we have to reach out and film it. Okay. We'll send them an email. Oh my God, that'd be such a good coffee talk. Okay. All, All right. right. Let me get, get to the... Field trip. Get your field trip signs. All right. Can you pause while we take out the cookies? Sure. I'll pause. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's take out the cookies. Okay. 
now I have to get this up to 400. Wait, hold on. Choose bakery. Attempt. Wait, hold on. How do you, how do you, um, hold on, wait. Cancel. All right. Choose bake. Temp. Oh, there we go. 400 for the pizza, guys. Okay. 400. Start. Okay. Okay, Richie, continue with your news while I take the cookies and put it on this thing to cool. All right, so thank you for unpausing me. Um, so the next news story, uh, let's go to California where a 95-year-old man known as Bicycle Bob uh, was treated to a celebration because he logged his 100,000th mile of biking. Every day he goes by. Wait, how old is he? 95 years old. Since the yeah. early, he retired in the early 90s and he started biking nine miles every day, he just logged his 100,000th mile. Wow. And it doesn't matter what the weather is, he bikes. And so on September 18th, he'll be celebrating his 96th birthday. And he said he's going to keep on going and keep on biking. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, it is. All right. Uh, okay, last news story, which I think is absolutely mm -hmm. adorable. Absolutely adorable. Robin, you know Dennis Quaid, the actor? Not Randy Quaid. I feel Dennis like all Quaid. these news stories today are a little fluffy, Richie. It's, like, it's, a, it's Monday. It's a fluff news story. It's Monday. I don't know. I'm giving my all and it's a Monday. Like, none of these stories are, like, that crazy. Well, well this, this is a sweet story. This is sweet. Okay, let me hear. Okay, so, Robin, you know who Dennis Quaid is, the actor? Not yeah. Randy Quaid. Yeah, Dennis I know who he is. What? I know who he is. Okay, so what he he has a uh, podcast, and in his and it's, his podcast is Dennis Quaid saves the world. That's okay. the podcast. And in the podcast, he said what animal shelters should start doing is naming their animals after celebrities. So it'll gain more attention. People want to adopt more. Of these yeah, that's a good animals. idea. It's a great idea. So in Virginia. They did that, and they named one of the dogs Dennis Quaid, and they, let it go, and guess what he did? What? He bought it? He, he adopted the dog. It was being brought over to California. If right there was now. a little Robin out there, well, now I still can't get a dog. Ugh, I've killed her well, dog. My, my cat, wherever he is, Houdini, he was on the kitten bowl. And that, oh, that and that's how you found him? him? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he was on the kitten bowl. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, oh my god, i got to get there. And uh, yeah. Great. And, that, that, and, and also, he was adorable. All right, let's uh, wrap up these new stories. Uh, yes. <laughs> Wait, Richie, how do you feel about being on? So, Richie, so next Thursday night, we're going to auction you off. We're going to auction off a few Richies, okay? So, this one thinking. Yes. Like, there'll be a... Would oh, you... oh, Robin, sorry. Jalen asked about the, um, what does um, buy now, the whole buy now. That means you don't even want to auction. This is like, is there like a set price that you can just buy right away, like buy now? Like what? <laughs> like, on oh, so it's like, section. oh, yeah. Um, what do you, I don't know, we need to discuss that, I guess. We need to discuss if there's going to be a buy now section. Um, I mean, I guess we could do that. But anyway, but I love the auctions. Um, know, me too, me too. Sorry, Jalen, there is no buy now button. <laughs> Richard. Um, at least you do that for, because you want something from you? Okay. I guess so. so like, oh, Richie, this is what I was thinking. Yeah. So Richie, I was like, Jamie wants to buy. want you to come there and cook for Jamie. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, Alexa, set the alarm for 10-ish minutes. 11 minutes? 10 minutes. Starting now. Okay, I think it's supposed to be. Oh, oh, like Snake Eyes had a great idea. What? A buy now for a slap. Oh, that's such a good idea. Okay. Yes. All right, guys, so this is what I'm thinking. All right, so Richie, we'll have like a bunch of different things that we're auctioning off of you, right? So there's like yeah. an hour where Richie's gonna help you if you need a, like a website or you need social media help on questions on, um, or like let's say you need to like, let's say there you have an ex-boyfriend from 1995 that you wanna find. Richie will spend the hour going through different social media things and like asking you questions, help you find. It's an hour worth of tech help, whether it's your phone, your printer, Richie will talk you through it. But Richie, there's also gonna be the five minute version of that, 
where they have get a five minute consultation with you on like what you should do about the website. Do you know what I mean? Or like, what, okay, same thing with bedtime stories. There's gonna be an hour bedtime story where it gives you an hour bedtime story on the phone, but there's also gonna be the five minute version. And, and if you get the hour and you hang up on me, I'm gonna <laughs> Um, I'd be logging the hour. I was also I'm thinking, what about, um, tell me if you actually can't do this because it involves children, but can you do an hour, um, like, help with, like... As long as it's, like, under eighth grade, then yes. Yeah. Okay, so then yeah. you, like, an hour, so if someone has a kid, even if the kid is 20, we don't care, Richie will give, uh, like, tutoring on like helping with whatever homework they have. So, yeah, and you can save it. Working, if they're 20, I'll give you yeah. so, so even like, you know, so if during the year during remote learning or something and you have you need help, Richie will help. Isn't that a good one? I love it. And then what else can you do? Oh, a therapy session, an hour yes. therapy session and a five minute therapy session. Mm -hmm. I think they're all really good. Um, okay. Is, I think these are great. Okay, do your closer. Guys, thank you so much for being here for Coffee Talk. We've got a great week coming up. Uh, make sure you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't be a Randy and give it a thumbs down. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Coffee Talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't be a Randy. Uh, subscribe, to, subscribe to Robin's YouTube page. You get notifications every time she goes live to post a new video. Uh, if you like more content, join Patreon. Oh my God, guys, this weekend's more. Patreon party. By the way, okay, can I just take a second? So Patreon has different levels, right? So the higher levels, you get private live streams every single week, but you could join just for $2 and you get into the Saturday parties. This Saturday, we did um, dinner and a movie where we watched movies that Richie and I made like years ago, like different sketches. I, I Yeah. Guys, write in the chat about Lois. <laughs> Okay, and we watched some of Richie's bar mints. It's just so good. I can't say enough. And then the five dollars is blooper reel. It's just go check out patreon.com backslash Robin Shaw comic if you want more content. Fuzzy yeah. Bunny died. She died. Yeah. A lot of people died. If you don't like yeah. death, don't join because you will die. <laughs> yeah, you will die. You will die laughing. Uh, there's all that information <laughs> down below. There's also links down below to many different websites that you can uh, head over to, learn about, and donate. Uh, guys, again, thank you so much. Tell everyone about Coffee Talk. Make sure you share. There's a share media. button where you can share Coffee Talk on your Facebook mm -hmm. or Twitter. You see, it's right there. It, it's right here. You click on it. It says Facebook, Twitter. Um, your blog, your Reddit, Tumblr, everywhere, Twitter. Share it everywhere you can. Okay. Please, let's get more people in here. Guys, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. That's all the news that Robin needs to know. Boo! I already packed my boo machine. Oh. Boo! <laughs> all right. Thank you, Richard. All right. Let's put this over here for now. All right. So as the pizza is cooking, we are going to do our eat our dessert. So here is our Samoa cookie. Now, in the recipe I saw, they put chocolate syrup drizzle over it, and I stupidly bought sugar-free chocolate syrup, being like, oh, it'll be a little healthier. It tastes like crap, so I'm just gonna eat as is. Mm, it's so good. tastes like it tastes like banana bread meets coconut like a coconutty oh I forgot Frank wanted me to put cinnamon in this damn it oops um it tastes like yeah it tastes like you put a little coconut in banana bread it tastes so good Guys, if I can make this, anyone can make this. This is so good. Mm, I'm a genius. All right. Let's taste Mama Shoal's creation. All right. Now, as you guys remember, we put it in ice cube tray and put it in the freezer. Well, thank you to TV Magic. We have these that have been in the freezer for about three hours. 
So you see they're little popsicles. All right, let's taste. that are like coconut or whatever. That's kind of what it tastes like. Wait, did we just make popsicles? Wait, mom, this was such a good idea. This was such a good idea. Wait, mom, I'm gonna call you for a check-in. This was brilliant. All right, guys, I would say the cookies are great. But if you want cause summer, like a nice cool treat, I would do it with icicles. Brilliant. Alexa, how much time on the timer? You have two minutes and 50 seconds left on your 10 minute timer. This is so good. Yes. All right. Yes. Oh my God. So after, okay. Why don't you put the banana in and the coconut, then take I would say mm, a half a cup or a cup of vodka. Make sure it's clear vodka. Put it in and then put it in. Yes. Wait, that's such a good idea. This is so good. I feel like it's going to need more than two minutes. It's really not cooking. <laughs> Um, all right. I said we do check in with Mama Shoal first and then we'll take the pizza things out just to conserve on time. Okay. All right, guys, please welcome. Hold on, let me take Mama Shoal out of the tripod. All right, guys. Mom, calling you now so that we can then do the pizza after. You can get drinks and no one would know. You get drunk and no one would know. You just have to make sure the kids don't drink it, but I think that's a brilliant idea. Guys, please welcome my favorite mother, Mama Shoal. Hey. Hi, Mom. Mom, so smart with the ice pops. But wait, the, I just want to add that you said about the chocolate. Mm -hmm. If you use Hershey's sugar-free chocolate, Mom, that is it what does I mean. taste good. Mom. And then you, and could you imagine putting that now with a little bit of chocolate on it? Mom, we have That's the, delicious. no, we have the Hershey's sugar-free. And you didn't like it? The sugar-free syrup? No. Oh, I did. Oh. Anyway, you have any notes for today? Yeah. Yes, I do. Oh, my God, they're working right outside my window. I know, I hear the banging. They're banging. Do you hear it? Uh-huh. Hey, first, just going back. Make, make sure when you next time you're doing this dessert, mash the banana first. Right, that was a mistake. And also, I just I like I was saying is I really think that that would look good. It would taste good with a little added extra chocolate. And if you want, you could use regular chocolate syrup. Use regular chocolate syrup. If you're doing this, just go full out. Either put, use vodka or chocolate syrup. And when you're using the skewers, instead of breaking it, use the scissor and cut it. Oh. So you don't get like the little splinters. The little splinters. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, both you, Mike, and Richie would love opening up the. Um, Alexa, window. off. Let me use the bang it and open it up. So I, I always have to buy three of them. The three little ones because I have each one of you had to open it up. I thought as soon as you took off the wrapper, it popped Remember? open. Remember? I thought as soon as you took what? off the wrapper, it popped open. I can't hear you. I thought the second you took off the wrapper, it popped open. No, no, you have to bang. They, that's what you guys love to do it, bang it right on the corner of the. All right. Alexa, put one and a half minutes on the timer. One minute and thirty seconds. Yes. You made some comments about you with the nanny. You don't, are you have, who's the nanny for? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's your takeaway. That's your takeaway. In my
my fake scenario where I'm a millionaire and then I cheat on Frank with the nanny. Her takeaway of that is, oh, does that mean I'm going to have grandkids? That was her takeaway from this whole episode is I said I was going to have an affair with the nanny. Only thing she took from that is, oh, because that mean Robin's going to have children? <laughs> it's Frank's nanny. <laughs> Okay, next. What? I? Next. Hey, Mom, do the, um, <laughs> Mom, give your shout outs because I have to take the pizza out. Oh, okay. To Thomas, Stella, Jamie, Susan, uh, Jenny, Jalen, Snake Eyes, Vaughn, Tiffany, and Fuzzy Bunny. And what is it? I got to make a uh, clarification. Uh, Morgan and her mom, do you know where they're from? Because I've been getting, say, Morgan who? Morgan who? This, you don't know this I think Morgan's in California. She's okay, a hard Morgan's fly. From California. Oh, because why, why is family thing we're talking about? Our, my sis, my cousin-in-law? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, shout out to her, too. Alexa, off. What are you talking about? All right, Mom, we got to wrap this segment up. Oh, yeah, Jay, Karen. Jay, Karen, Andrew. Uh, Barbara. Inez, Didi, these are people who watch and replay. Um, All right, Mom, we got to give say goodbye. Cousin Randy from Florida. <laughs> All right, Mom, say you got to give your, your goodbye. Okay, everybody stay safe. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. And what is it? From, I got a report from some people in the, what is it, my beach, my old beach. Mom, the, mom, the pizza's going to catch on fire. Like, the, I got to okay, take it out. Six feet away and then uh, <laughs> 12 feet away, whichever you choose. <laughs> but think positive thought. Stay happy and stay safe. Okay, I love you, Mommy. Love you, love you guys, and I love the food you make. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. I think we burnt the pizza. We burnt the pizza because my mom had a lot to say today. Oh, wait, hold on. How do we turn this off? Let's turn this off because it's really hot. Can't stop. Okay. Oi. Wow. This looks so good. Okay. Okay. Wait, guys, this looks so good. Everyone just sit tight we're going to put it on the cooking tray hold on let me take the cookies and put them on the plate wait these cookies came out so good if frank asked we just didn't have the cinnamon okay all right hold so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your cupcakes and put it on the cooling rack Okay, we'll take, we'll take two out right now so you can see. Okay. All right. Oh my God, we made pizza cupcakes. Holy crap, I didn't think this would work. Okay, so here are the pizza cupcakes. It's really hot. How do we cool it down? Let's take a bite. Do we have to wait till it cools down? I feel like that would take too long. Okay. All right, so now, <gasps> we did it okay look at our pizza cupcake there's definitely smoke cut it in half okay let's cut it in half all right come on let me move this over so you can see okay all right let's cut this in half Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at this. Can you see? Guys, I can't believe this worked. It's, there's smoke coming out. Okay. Oh my God. This may be the best thing I've ever made because the dough has the consistency of the dough of like a biscuit. 
So it's like really soft. It's like hot. It's like a hot biscuit pizza. Guys, what do we do? Who do we write to? This is so good. Wait, what do we do? This is so good. It's pizza, but it tastes like a biscuit. Wait, I don't know. Does anyone know what we're supposed to do when you cook something that's good? Like, do you make a cookbook or something? What do you do? Do we write to Pillsbury? Wait. I wish there was someone here to taste this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. Did we turn this off? Write down the recipe. This episode's the recipe. What did I do? Get the Pillsbury dough um, biscuits, one. Tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, um, and, and we used the dairy-free one. Tag them to Twitter with this clip. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. And, the, and they're cupcakes. So let's say it's like your birthday. This is a like kid's birthday party. This is what you put on everyone's plate. Oh my God. I'm like a freaking genius. It's just killing me how good I am. Wait. Did everything we cooked today was successful? No. Guys, literally everything we made today was a success. I'm... It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. All right, guys, thank you for watching Coffee Talk with Robin Show. We go live every day at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't want to say like I'm a great cook, but I'm definitely like the best. Checking Mama Shoal. Sorry, I rushed you. I just didn't want my pizza cupcakes to burn. And thank you guys for tuning in to Coffee Talk. I hope you learned something today. And if not, it's really okay. Because what are you going to do? All right, guys. Bye.